the power of intercession. So in today's gospel, it can be divided into three parts, but all these three parts is about intercession. The first part, this centurion intercedes for the healing of his servant. And the second part is Peter or one member of the, from the house of Peter intercedes for the mother-in-law of Peter to Jesus. And the third part is many people, they brought those they loved but were possessed by demons. They brought them, came to Jesus. So it gives us a clue that we need to intercede for people who are our friends, those who are inferior to us, maybe are the, the one we are in charge of, and also our family members and those people from, uh, who are from the same village with us. So we need to intercede before Jesus, all those people, whether our family members, our friends, and those who are, have some friendship with us. And how do we intercede for these people? In today's gospel also gives us three ways. The first one is come to Jesus. When this centurion, he noticed that his servant got sick. He did not pray in his own house, but came to Jesus. Where did he come from? It says that when Jesus entered Capernaum, then this centurion approached him and appealed to him. So how did this centurion know that where Jesus is? He might ask others, asking help from others. Where can I find Jesus? Where can I go that I can find Jesus and ask him and talk to him and pray for the healing of my servant? So it requires our own effort. This is why we also go to, we also go, uh, we also go on pilgrimage to different churches, may, maybe the uh, Kiapu Church and also to Bulacan to ask for the intercession of Our Lady of Perpetual Help. So it requires on our own part, we need to do our own part that we can approach Jesus. And for the second part is, Jesus was invited by Peter to come to his house. Then upon that juncture, Jesus met the mother-in-law of Peter. So if we already developed a friendship with Jesus, we need to invite Jesus into our house to have our house blessed. That is why people may invite priests to go to their house. Father, please bless this house, this building, so we can have the grace of the Lord. So this is the second way. If we already develop a friendship with Jesus and always welcome Jesus to our house and show our need to Jesus. And the third one is if we know there are some places already happening miracles, we can also bring our needs to that place where we can meet Jesus. That is why it was evening. They brought him many who were possessed by demons, and he drove out the spirits by a word and cured all the sick. So this is the third way. But this is a general way to say that every people can come to Jesus as long as they have faith in Jesus. Not only Catholics, Christians, even those pagans, they might also, when they are in danger, they might pray also to the God, which they do not know yet. They may pray to God, Lord, please help us, even though I have not prayed to you or during my past years, but now at this juncture, I would like to ask help from you. So their power, no, that their prayer is also heard by the Lord. So we can, we can pray all for all the people, whether our friends, our family members, and even strangers. But remember that we need to come to Jesus, find Jesus, and ask him help from him. And today I would like to share with you about uh, about the intercession. 
You see, after being ordained as a priest, people used to, yeah, now even nowadays,、uh, they come to me or come to any of the priests to ask, Father, please pray for me. Please pray for my vocation. Pray for the safety of our family, and also the passing exam. So every kinds of prayer. So sometimes I remember several three years ago I was doubting when one grandmother、uh, tested me that Father, please offer one mass for my granddaughter because she is quite sick, having fever in winter. And until now, already for several days, and、uh, it seems that there is no change. So during that time, it was on Thursday. That night, I read the message, but there was a doubt in my heart. If we celebrate a mass for her, can she really get cured? So there was a doubt on my part, hum- out of human weakness. But anyway. I have to celebrate mass for her intention. So the following day on Friday, I really celebrated the mass, including that intention in the mass. So out of even though I have, I have a little faith, but I said, Lord, this is not for me, and this is not for this is not really.、Uh, even though I have a doubt, but please remove this doubt, and I will follow. The order and also follow the instruction to celebrate mass for that little girl. Then I was surprised. The following day, it was on Saturday. Then early in the morning, the the grandmother tested me again, and she said, "Father, thank you for your prayer. Thank you for the mass you offered. Now,、uh, my little granddaughter has no fever, and now I want to ask you again to offer a mass of thanksgiving so that."、Uh, Uh, we want to say thank you to the Lord. So on Saturday, I I celebrated the mass again and including the intention of thanksgiving. So after that experience, it it increases my my faith because I personally I really experience that if we really put the, our faith on Jesus by obeying the order. By following the instruction, by believing, even though we have no faith, but believing what Jesus had told us in the gospel, then He is the one to work miracles in our life. So let us continue to pray for our family members, our friends, and even those strangers, even for all the people in another world that we do not know, and also including the souls in purgatory. Pray for them, and surely. When time comes, our Lord will grant us our all our petitions. Because the last word is that to fulfill what had been said by Isaiah the prophet, He took away our infirmities and bore our diseases. But let us put our infirmities and diseases before Him. May God bless us. <laughs>